How very nice to see you again. It's nice to see you too, Madam Y. Allow me to introduce my uncle, John Guardian. Pleased to meet you, ma'am. I thought I'd bring Uncle John in to have his fortune told. Of course, Jessica. Sit down. Wow, this is very interesting. Huh? I see you were a soldier. That's right. I just left the service yesterday. Mm, I see you have been on many dangerous and important missions. Ah, and that you are a hero. Well, I don't know about that. Oh, Uncle John's modest, madam. But the crystal ball is right. But I also see that your next mission will be the most important one of your life. And you will never come back. What? You mean Uncle John will... Will No, Jessica. For your sake and the sake of the world, he simply does not come back. Oh, the image is fading. I can tell you no more. I hope I haven't upset you. No, Madam Why. I've been a soldier for a long time. It's the sort of thing we have to face. Well, I'm upset. When will this happen, Madam? Not sure, Jessica, but soon. Very soon. Ah! Uncle John! No, Jessica! Get away! Uncle John! Uncle John! Ah! You good looking cool man about town, you yeah, yeah. Eddie! <laughs> <laughs> 
It would have been worse luck if he hadn't. You say there are monsters behind the mirror? Yeah, they were horrible. And they were weird, big, bug-like robot things. Oh, hold it a minute, Eddie. Phone call. Hi. If you're calling the Ghostbusters, that's a bad reflection on you. Ghostbusters, Jake here. <laughs> what? Jessica and her uncle? We'll take care of it. That was Madam Y. She says Jessica and her uncle were pulled into a mirror. What's going on? Think they're ghosts? Let's find out. Let's go, go! is a problem. No, do not use desynchronizer. We'll send human to lost dimension. Lose valuable warm body. Lost dimension, huh? Sounds like just the place to send a couple of robots. <laughs> Don't forget to write. Now for Jessica. We'll have to get inside the mirror to find Jessica and her uncle. We can't do it ourselves, so we have to wait for those robot bugs to... Oh! Jake. Looks like we got our ride, guys. Let them pull us in. Uh, now, wait a minute. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Jake Duck! Thanks, Eddie. Uh oh, they're robots, not ghosts. The 
the dematerializer won't work on them. Huh? Jake, what happened? You mean, who happened, Eddie? Look there. It's Jessica's uncle. Greetings, Ghostbusters. Welcome to the other side of the mirror. Good to see you, Mr. Guardian. You are just in time. But where's Jessica? Those bug robots. I call them Invertroids. They have her. I'm going after them. Well, you're not going alone. We're going with you. Thank you, boys. I was hoping you would. There's a lot of Invertroids around. And it'll take all of us to rescue Jessica. Taking her to that base. Jessica must be there, too. I wonder what they're up to. I don't know, but they've got that poor girl. We gotta do something. Leave it to me. There. Pulled its plug. It's harmless now. Are you all right, miss? I think so. Oh, thank you for saving me from that horrible creature. That's our job. But now we have to get you to safety. Climb back through this mirror hole. You'll be back on Earth again. Oh, I can't thank you enough. Just stay away from mirrors for a while. Head for those tubes. We can scout from there. What a creepy place! I wonder what these tubes are for. They sure are cold. There's someone in there! Yes, he's in frozen sleep. The Invertroids must be storing the people they capture in these tubes. Well, if they've captured Jessica, then that means... she must be in one of these tubes. How are we ever gonna find her? I can. You can find Jessica, Tracy? problem. <laughs> Tracy's got her scent. Come on, guys. No! Let me go! No! Let me out! No! Get me! Another excellent warm body. Yes, we will soon have all we need. We will return with them through the dimensional gate to Homeworld. Where we will place our minds inside these warm bodies. And we in Bertroids will live again. D did you hear that? I sure did, Eddie. The droids are planning to take over the bodies of all these people they've captured. So that's what they're up to. Well, we're gonna stop them. And we'll start right here. It's Jessica. Nice work, Tracy. You found her. Oh. Oh, Uncle John! And Jake! Eddie! And Tracy! Shh! What was that noise? War bodies escaping! Alarm! Escaping warm bodies. 
Well, that's torn it. Here they come. Oh, I'm sorry. Not your fault, Jess. Get moving, all of you. Get back through the mirrors to safety. I'll hold them here. No way, Guardian. We're in this together. Human. Drop that bug face! Oh, Jay, thank you. Hey, you saved me, I saved you. Care of those bugs? Yeah, but unfortunately, Jake, there are plenty more coming. Too many. We have to do something. But what? Just one chance. If we could just get that dimensional gate open. Of course. The Invertroids might all get pulled back into their own dimension. Then let's go, Ghostbusters! It's our only chance. Detroit. Get that gate open quick! War bodies want to open dimensional gate. Must stop them. Can't punch it! Tracy, come help! Most of them, but not all. Some managed to escape. They're scared now, but they could be trouble later. Well, for now, we have to get all these people back home again. And that's going to be a real pain. Boy, you're not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Glad that's over. I think we freed everyone. Sure will be good to get home. You're next, Uncle John. No, Jessica, you go on. I'm staying here. N no! But Uncle John, why? The Invertroids that escaped are hiding for now, but they'll be back. Somebody has to stay here. 
to guard the Earth from their return. Remember when Madam Y said that I might never return from my greatest mission? Well, this is it. Oh, I'll come back for short visits, but this will be my new home. I'm staying here to protect you, the Earth, and everything I love. But you'll be alone. I don't know. I'll have a whole new universe to explore. I'm sure to find a few friends here. Now please, no more argument. Your friends are waiting. You got stuck, Jessica. And where's your uncle? He's not coming. He's going to stay in the dark side. Why? Why? Because he's a soldier. And he's doing it for us. In today's show, John Guardian was faced with a job he didn't want to do. But he realized that the job was important, so he did it anyway. If you have a job to do, such as doing your homework or taking out the trash, you should do that job as well as you can. That's called responsibility, and it's an important part of growing up. Bye now, see you again soon.